Come in. How are you settling in, sir? I don't know. I have no idea how to thank you for keeping the doors of this office open. It's a pleasure, sir. Mm. It's like you never left. 18 months, Harriet. I did leave. And I had the intentions of coming back. But here I am. It gets easier, sir. How are you and the boys? Surviving. Hmm. You're a strong woman, Harriet. Sit down. Thank you, sir. So, how are we doing? Well, we managed to keep one good client. Who stayed? Mr. Obuna and all his businesses. All? Well, they expanded recently, but they're still with us. How did you manage that? It wasn't me, sir. It was all you. Mr. Bona said you stayed by him when he was barely able to pay you, so he's going to stick by you too. I have hired a new graphics designer, a new web developer, a social media expert, and a projects manager. The projects manager is with Mr. Obona as we speak, and the web developer and social media expert just left. Do you have their files? Mm. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank I you, guess sir. I'll start fully tomorrow. That will be fine, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Sir. Just been working there for one week now. I have three weeks to go before I get my salary. It's a company. I'm not earning that much as at now. But at least when it starts coming up, making money. Hmm? For now, what I have is my feeding and my transportation. What? Oh no. Ah, you won't find me. It's safe here. Yes, trust me, he won't find me. How about my baby boy? Please do not make him starve. Mm -hmm. I'll send him my feeding money so you can give it to him. And then I'll still send some money when my salary gets in. All right. I'm keeping safe. Don't worry. All right. Kiss him for me. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Donna, how are you today? I'm very well. It was too early. Old habits die hard. <laughs> this is for you. Okay. Mr. Obona subsidiaries. Um, okay. Do you want online presents? A lot of it. What's the time frame? One week. One week. But this is a whole lot to be done within one week. Then you need to get started. <sighs> oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. You must be Donna. Yes, sir. Graphics and web developer? Yes, sir. It's in your work. Good job. Thank you, sir.
hide from me. You a mint! No! You get questions, so you go answer me. They boo you, Papa Way. No ah. answer, and I will kill you here. No, 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 Donna. No, no, do. Scream! Scream! I'm gonna go ping for you here. I don't touch you. Why did you leave? Miss, why did you leave? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the question I ask you. You scream and I kill you. You answer my question wrongly. Now break your head. Why did you leave? Simon. Simon. Simon was. Simon was here, so I had to take him to. Take him where? No, they waste my time. Take him where? To my auntie's house. You aunt? Yes. Donna. My aunt will visit your face. Oh. Don't lie to me again. No lying. No lying. All three years, will you live with me? I know you have this, your auntie. I don't know. I don't know why we never talked about it. But I'm not lying to you. Pocket down. Adi baby, are you pregnant? Adi, ask you a question. No, no, no. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> of course you know. But no one. I don't show. And Bele go show. No, no. And when I'm done with you, you tell me where you get money to afford this place. <laughs> Donna, tell me, what did they have for you? Ah, man, no, they quarrel with him, babe. Now just quarrel between me and my girl. <laughs> Is it true? Is it your boyfriend? Oh, so, so because of saying that your girlfriend, that's why you beat her. Because of saying that your, your girlfriend, that's why you want beat her, man. Now my business you think you're love. Huh? Guy, oh yeah, get out of this place before I change, I change that way. I said, get out of this place before I change that way. You, you don't worry you. You do okay? Okay. Alright. Then the electricity bill. Thank you. See, eh? I will just advise you. Anything wait there between you and this guy, you could need to just end them. End them before this guy will kill you. This one will be any relationship. I don't talk my own. Good night, never. Security. Ah, new stuff. Ah, you forget something? No. You're crying. Why? I lost my key and. Uh, well, let me help you. I need this... somewhere to stay. This place is dangerous at night. Just come in. Thank you, sir.
You know what? I will get you just the key to the, your office tonight. Tomorrow morning, early in the morning, you go and sort yourself out. Thank you so much. Please let me get the keys. Just come. Should I follow you? Hey, just come and wait for me. Good morning. Are you okay? You look like you barely slept. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. You gave me one week to complete this. Uh -huh. I've been working all night. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, come in. Sir? Alright, these fires are confusing to me. Could you tag them, please? Of course. Alright. Yeah, come. Sir? Yeah. Let me see what they need and what you've outlined. Okay. I've also sent you an email with the slides. So you can go through as I explain Yeah, I got them. You. I'm looking at it right now. So for the subsidiaries, they want the landing page rebranded. And then the other three do not have websites at all. So you're building a website for the three? Yes, sir. And um, they want the search engine optimization. So um, I'm working on it as well. Yeah, sir. Um, um, sir, this is um for the social media accounts. They want multiple. Why are your hands shaking, sir? Why is your hand shaking? Do I make you uncomfortable? No, sir. Not at all. Um, um, I am suffering from a disease. Um, it's called a um, mono nervous disease. Um, could you have that tagged and brought back to me, okay? Yes, sir. So when were you diagnosed of this disease? Yeah? When were you diagnosed of this disease? Moto or mono nervous? Mm. Yes, sir. About, um, about, um, about uh, um, a year ago, sir. A year ago. Yes, sir. <laughs> so when I would have preferred if you had told me that you were nervous. And that would have been understandable because then I would think you're trying to impress me. And now because of what you just said, leads me to ask you this. Do you take drugs? Uh, no, sir. No, I don't. Not at all, sir. God forbid. Well, I am a trained medical doctor and I can tell you there's no such thing as mono nervous disease there is motor neuron disease could that be it yes sir that's the one that's the one that's the one I'm sure you're pretty smart to know the difference between both of them and not mix them up and you have dark circles around your eyes which means you have not been sleeping no, why don't you go back and sort out whatever issues you're having and when you come back, we can revisit this. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mono nervous disease. I, I'm sorry. I asked you if you had a medical condition and you told me no. It's not bad at all. The shaking stops. But that's not the point. 
I'm sorry. I want a doctor's report by the end of the week. It is the only way I can help you explain what just happened to the MD. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Colin. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I thought you said you were coming in a few days. Oh, well, I had to move up the date. Ha. Ah. Mm -hmm. How do you get in? Your sister. She said she was traveling. Is she still around? Yeah, um, she left this morning. 11 a.m. flight, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, you should have called her. Oh, well, I know how busy you can get, so... Ah. I didn't want to bother you. Okay. But hey, I made dinner, so let's go get something to eat. Okay. <laughs> how was the day though? It was good. Nice. They will not find out. Ma, don't tell me they will not find out. This will cost me my job. And when it happens, what are you going to do? Please. No, 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 no. You have to leave, ma. Yesterday you told me that you forgot your keys. Now you talked about transport. I offered you transport and you said no. What do you want? I don't need the money. Let me tell you something, madam. Lie is from the devil. I need to help you. Please leave this premises now. I can't go. You don't understand. You just have to leave now. Please, ma, you just have to leave now for the sake of my job. Listen, let me explain to you. Somebody wants to kill me. They broke into my house the other day. I can never go back into that house again. And I don't have the money to rent another house yet. And you want to stay here for one year? No. It's just till I find somewhere. I beg you. This... Ah, God. Please. 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 This will cost me my job. It will not. Trust me, it will not. Please, just one more night again, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was those good old times. Oh, yeah. Mm. Your mother... I'm behind your mother's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was passing there the other day and I just, you know, remembered how we used to spend much time there than in our own school. <laughs> yeah, crazy times. Uh -huh. mm. How are you though? I'm fine. I mean, how are you really? I'm fine. I mean, life goes on. Indeed. How long are you here for? Um, eight weeks. Would that be a problem? No, I mean, what am I doing with empty rooms? Have you managed to book an appointment with them? Um, well, not yet, but I'm hopeful. Maybe by um, next week. Okay. If you need anything, you know, you can always count on me, right? Sure. I appreciate that. You're welcome. This is really good. Mm. Thank you. Just like old times, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's delicious. So go and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Donna? Sir. Is everything okay? Yes, sir. Is Harriet around? Yes, sir. Ask her to see me. Okay, sir.
Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. How are you, Harriet? Very well, thank you. Sit down. Thank you, sir. All right. You ran this company for me for 18 months while I was away, so I have the utmost respect for your decisions. No problem, sir. Have you seen Donna today? Yes, sir. And what do you think of her? Um, I, I really don't know, sir. She wouldn't tell me what's been happening, but I promise you she wasn't like this when she started work. How long has she been working here? About two weeks. Find somebody else, okay? I want her gone. There's something wrong with her, shaky hands and all that. Nah, find somebody else. Yes, sir. And say nothing to her until you get a replacement. Of course, sir. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, sir. How serious is his fever? Hi, God. I'm sure it's because he hasn't eaten well in two weeks. Okay, do you know what? Please, I beg you. Can you borrow the money from somebody? I'll pay you back in two weeks. Oh. Now? Okay, let me see. Let me see what I can do about it. Uh, okay, you, let me, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Yes, come in. Sir. Anna? Please. Please, can I have half of my salary? I need your help. I need to attend to a family emergency. Donna, we don't do that here. I'm sure I read your contract. No, it doesn't say that you will pay you half your salary before the end of the month. I know that, sir, but please, I need hey, your hey, help. Hey, hey, no, don't, 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 don't do that. Please, get up. Get up. Sir, please, I need your help. I need the money because I don't have anywhere else to go to. All right, fine. I'll do it, but just this one time, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Um, I, I would um, like to submit all I've done. I worked all night. Mm. Okay. And uh, one more thing, sir. Please permit me to quickly go and attend to my family emergency. Go. Thank you, sir. That won't happen again, I promise. You told the MD that you wanted half your salary? Yes, I was about coming to you. Well, I'm here now. He already sent me a message. I hope he's not changing his mind. No, I'm going to pay you. Thank you so much. What's going on? Why are you packing up your table? Nothing. Are you sure there's nothing going on? Yes, I'm sure. Something is going on. I just don't know what it is. I mean, look at your dress. You look like you slept in it. Uh, sorry, next time I'll iron. You mean to tell me that you do not have a dress that does not require ironing? You will not understand. Please, I have to go. Okay, uh, please send the money to me before I get to where I'm going. Thank you so much. God bless you. I promise next time I'll iron my dress before coming to work. Hello? Yes, I called earlier. You were the one who sent us um, your resume about three weeks ago. Okay, are you free tomorrow? Great, just check your email. I sent you a link. We'll see you at 12 noon. Goodbye. Hi, Jeffrey. 
Welcome. Hey. Um, I made dinner. I see that. So would you go have a shower and come join me? No. I'm grateful. I <clears throat> I'm just tired. Okay. Uh, have, have you have you had dinner? No. But I'm fine though. I just, 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 three. Jeffrey, what is going on? Look, I'm not ready for this. Ready for what? What you're setting up. What are you talking about? You said you needed a place to follow up on your project. And that a, a hotel was too expensive for you. That's the truth. There's no lying that I, I don't live in this city. I didn't say you were lying. I am just saying that. Let's just keep things like that. So what do we have here? Landing pages. Okay. The design is from scratch. Yes, sir. What are your decisions behind these colors? I wanted to play around with the company colors. Oh. So is this a French website? No, sir, but um, I can show you something in a few hours. I'll be leaving very soon, so we can pick this up tomorrow, okay? Okay, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Um, I found you someone. Are you sure they're good? Donna seems to be a very good graphics and web developer, although she's weird and got a strange personality. This gentleman's body of work is quite good, sir. Can you send it to me? I will, sir. All right. Do you need anything else? No. You said you have to leave early? Yes, I do. All right. Um, you got to leave as well. Oh, good night, sir. <laughs> yes, my darling. I know you miss me. I miss you more. 
Mm, I hope you're being a good boy. Don't worry, you'll soon see me. Okay? All right, all right. Okay, mommy has to sleep now, okay? All right, be good. I love you. Jeffrey. Pauline. You're welcome. Are you going to eat? We did have a conversation yesterday about this, right? Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm not eating with you. All right. The point is not if you're eating with me. The point is I don't need anyone to tend to my needs. I, need, I don't need you to be nice to me. Me? You don't need to do this. Jeffrey, listen, I understand, but... Listen, you don't, you don't, you don't understand, okay? I, I just wanna, I just wanna go up. I'm tired, I'm, I wanna rest. Okay, Jeffrey, can you just give me some time so we can talk about this, okay? <sighs> Look, I have, you're here, I've given you room to stay, okay? You've been my child since childhood days and I will do anything for you to support what you do but right now I'm just tired Jeffrey it's been childhood friends all you remember about us what about the old times all right Pauline I'm tired and I just want to go upstairs and and rest and just you know take a shower or something just rest why exactly are you angry hey! Mm. That now. Ah, sorry, sir. Good evening, sir. You left. Shouldn't I be asking you that question? How long have you been sleeping here? So just for a few days. And the security knew about this? Sorry, sir. You're sorry? 
Well, you should tell that to the security because you just cost him his job. No, sir, please. He was just helping me out. He asked me to leave, but I refused to go. Why didn't you tell Harriet you were homeless? Sir, so I'm not really homeless. Then why are you sleeping here? I'm running away from someone who wants to kill me. Someone wants to kill you? Who wants to kill you? My ex. He broke into my house and tortured me. My neighbor came to my rescue. If not for him, I would have been badly injured or dead by now. Is that why your hand was shaking? Yes, sir. I'm sorry that I lied to you. It's just that my hand tends to shake for a very long time and I'm terrified. And I didn't know how to explain it to you. Listen, Donna, I'm sorry about what you've been through, okay? But this is an office space, not a homeless shelter. Okay, you can't stay here. Find a relative, a friend, or whoever to stay with until you sort yourself out. Sir, I don't have any. Oh, you can't stay here! Please, ma, I just thought it was only for one night. Why didn't you speak to me when she stayed just for the first night? Ma, I, di I didn't know it was going to add another one more night. I'm sorry. Ma. Okay, so what happened when she uh, um, slept the second night? I'm sorry. Ma. Now I have to go upstairs to explain to MD and he's very, very upset. Please, ma, just help me bear. Let me I, speak to the I MD first. I want to my job, ma. Please, ma. Come in. Good day, sir. Why do I have a member of staff sleeping in this office? It has never happened before, sir. I'm truly sorry. Have you spoken to the gate man? Yes, and he's a good man and he's dutiful. He told me, she told him that um, someone was trying to kill her and had broken into her house. And after that, he, he didn't have the heart to chase her away. She said that, I thought she was making it up. I can't be sure whether she was making it up or not. I don't know her that well, but she seemed normal during the interview. Maybe something serious is going on, sir. I have seen the designs you sent to me from the guy you interviewed. Pretty impressive. Um, should I go ahead and terminate Donna's appointment? Yes. Yes, sir. Trying to face the world by myself. I guess it's not so easy Trying to figure out this puzzle called life But I swear it's not so easy See, I don't know what I may see When I open the door I'm not ready, not ready at all I'm not ready for all the trouble I don't have the strength I'm not ready, not ready, no, no No, 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 no No, 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 I know how it feels to be broken I know it's just so crazy So crazy so much pain you can't imagine.
but still you gotta hide it. I was alone till you came around, and you took my hand through the storm, through the rain. Trying to face the world by myself. I guess it's not so easy. Trying to figure out this puzzle called life, but I swear it's not so easy. See, I don't know what I may see when I open the door. I'm not ready, not ready at all. Protection. Protection from whom? My ex. Do you know why I'm here? No, sir. I asked Harriet to lay you off yesterday. So if you had come in today, she would have given you a termination letter. But when I got home, I asked myself, what if you were really telling the truth? So, I came down here to ask you for the last time. Why were you sleeping in the office? And what's really going on with you? It's a long story, sir. Well, make it short. Okay. I have a son. And... His father abandoned us. So I was forced to move in with this guy that I eventually started dating. He was bad to me and my son. So I ran away and kept my son with a friend who I asked for a loan, which I used to rent this place and then I got a job at your company. I'm so sorry, sir. So he found out where you were? Yes, and then he tortured me and almost killed me. And that's why I was so scared. I couldn't sleep here. I was afraid that he would return and try and hurt me. So I ran to the office and begged the security to sleep in the office. I'm sorry. Where did you learn web development? I taught myself. Hmm. All right, gather your things. Whatever you can. You're coming with me. I don't have a job. Yes, you do. Get your things. Thank you. Yeah.
You can stay here. You don't have to come into work today. You can get the day off. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. When you're hungry, just look for the kitchen. OK. All right. When I get back, we'll talk, OK? All right, sir. Don't thank me yet. All in. What, what are you doing? Ah, good day, ma. Um, please, Mr. Jeffrey said I could eat some food. Really? And did he tell you specifically to take the jello fries and the pot and this amount of meat? I'm sorry, ma. I'll put the rice back in. Oh, no, no, please, please. Just take whatever you have in the plate and please just leave. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sit down, I need to talk to you. Sir. I brought you here because I'm still considering what you told me. I have no intention of keeping you here long. Okay, sir. I am considering giving you a loan and then taking it out of your salary instrumentally. I, I don't mind. And then again, I'm thinking that I don't want you to take the loan and disappear. Oh, sir, I can never do that. I hope not. Anyway. I want you to focus at work, be hardworking still. Okay, sir. And come back here. No one can know about your living arrangement. No problem, sir. All right. Um, I will still think about that long, okay? No problem, sir. All right, you can go. Thank you, sir.
Hey, Donna. Another brief. Good evening, Ma. Welcome. Sorry, Ma. Is the doorbell not working properly? And what sort of question is that? Uh, it's because I was pressing the bell for a long time before you opened. But I opened it, didn't I? Yes. Are you inside or not? I'm inside. Don't ever ask me a kind of silly question next time. Jeffrey, you give me a place to stay. The best I can do is to make you dinner. And besides, you haven't given me a good reason as to why I should not. And me not stressing you out, is that not a good enough reason? No, it's not. Huh. Fine. So let's have dinner. Great. And where are you going? To get Donna to join us. I, I didn't make dinner for her. Well, we're going to have some money if we have. Okay? Yeah. Donna, could you come out, please? Have you had something to eat today? No, sir. But, um... Then join us for dinner. Let's see. Sit down. We do not say no in this family. Look at that. Beautiful meal. Hmm. Are you gonna get a plate? Yes, sir. My, my phone is ringing. Just a moment. Sorry. Hello? You and I know that this will not work. What will not work? Are we not supposed to be childhood friends? Yes, and we tried to be more than friends and it did not work. It did not work because you, you walked away and you, and you married someone else. You know, that is not the entire story. Look, I am not looking for a placement. You. Sir, I can't join you for dinner. My son comes today. I just want to go and see, but he's, he's fine now. Do you need anything? No, sir. Okay, go, go. Thank you. And John, you can bring him back here. Sir? You can bring your son back here. He can stay with you. He can stay with you here, okay? So my son can stay here? Yes. 
I can't make you smile. Hey, 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 no, wait, get up. It's okay. It's okay, okay? Now go, go get it. I'm cute. Thank you. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, what exactly is going on between you and this girl? Nothing, okay? I just want to help her and support her. Look, all this bad news has made me lose appetites. Okay, but it's, I, I, right. I made... So that Jeffrey can see me or even relax around me. He is blatantly refusing. I'm pushing. He just does not seem to want me. But I'm not going anywhere. I made a mistake of losing him years ago. I will not let that happen again. Yes, come in. And who is this young man? Good evening, sir. This is my son, Simon. Good evening. Good evening, son. How are you? Fine. You're a good looking lad. I'm sure everyone says that to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you must be tired. Yes, sir. All right, Jonah, why don't you take him inside? Maybe you can rest. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Are they, are they going to be here with you? Yes. For how long? Pauline, stop asking me questions like I owe you an answer. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Well, they're going to be here for as long as it takes for them to get a new place. Wait. And stop acting like there's something between two of us, okay? Stop it's making me uncomfortable. Me. Stop treating me like I mean nothing to you. Good night. Je So according to the brief, um, we were asked to focus on e-commerce and digital marketing. Okay. So with the e-commerce, I've designed an online store that makes e-payment possible. Via the website? Yes. And what about the digital marketing? I have structured and lined up digital contents for the brand. I'm now working on an SEO and other strategies for increasing online payment. And, and what are some of the strategies you're looking at? Social media marketing and email marketing. That's good. Thank you, sir. So I have all these in the PowerPoints and slides. Let me send you an email right away. Okay. Done. Send you an email. All right. What's the timeline for this? Three weeks, sir. You sure we can deliver? Absolutely. Well done. Thank you, sir. All right. You can go check that out now. All right.
Thank you. Mommy! Oh, my boy! How are you doing? Fine. Mommy, I'm hungry. You're hungry? What about all the rice I gave to you? You've eaten that? Yes. And the pack of juice? Mm -hmm. You've had that too? Mm -hmm. You eat so much. Mm? Let me get you something to eat. Come on, let's go. I don't understand, sir. Now that your son is here, I mean, what are your plans? What are your future plans for yourself and him? Oh. Um, well, um, I'm saving my salary to get a place. And? And then um, I'll find a school for Simon. Okay, so you already have found a school for him? Are you looking for one at the moment? Yes, sir. I found a school, a very good school, close to the office. I've been there. All right, so you know how much it costs? Yes, sir. How long does it take for you to get everything he needs to start school? Everything can be done in one day. Um, they'll give him his school uniform, school books, everything he needs. So if you pay now, you can start tomorrow? Yes, sir. Okay. Send me the bill, then I will... Have the money transferred to you. He can start tomorrow. Sir? Simon is a smart kid. He should be in school. And we'll talk about you getting a flat later. Sir. Sir. Hey, 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 no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. It's okay. God bless you, sir. God bless you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's okay. I'm impressed with how hard working you are. And however way I can support you, I will. Lily? Yes, I need to pick up my son from school. Oh. Um, can you do a little work over the weekend? Sure. I will email it to you. Um, Donald. Yes. You do really good work. Thank you. All right. Enjoy your weekend. You too. Yeah, okay. I'll call you later. You're still here? Just leaving, sir. Okay. And Donna? She went to pick up a child. Alright, see you tomorrow. You too, sir. Yes. Can I have... doing here? All right, 
Take Simon in and come back. Donna, do you know this man? Yes. He's my ex, my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> ex? When did we break up? When you tried to kill me. <laughs> I mean, I was angry at you. But I never did that. If you're looking for sympathy, find something else to say. Don't lie about me. Lie about you? Morris! I narrowly survived you. Survived me? <laughs> Housing? Feeding you and Simon? Slapping me around? Kicking me all over the floor? Slapping Simon because he was crying? Because I was crying? I never did that. Despite all I spent on you, the little opportunity you had, you ran away. Why would I run away from a perfect relationship? I wish I ran away earlier than I did. That shows how ungrateful you are. If being grateful is forcefully allowing you to get me pregnant, then I will remain ungrateful for the rest of my life. You are. Sit down. So what do you want? I went into debt. Taking care of Hans Simon, who is also my son. Simon is not your son and you know it. I played the role of his father for years and I did it with all my heart. So you want to get paid for what you spent on her? Right? I won't call it getting paid. I mean, look at her. She's doing well for herself. I just want to be compensated. Hmm. Donna. Donna. Excuse us for a minute, please. How much do you want? Let's say one million. I mean, it's not the actual figure, but because of God, I'll let it go. Okay. Send me your details and I'll have the money transferred to you. Thank you, boss. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, boss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Morris, let this be the last time that you follow her in this town. If you do, I will have my friends at the security agency frustrate you for the rest of your life. Boss, I'm a busy man. Once the alert enter, I go busy pass like this. Huh. Then I guess we're done here. Thank you, boss. I wait for the alerts. Huh. Morris? Don't ever come back here. I wait for the alerts. You know, you need to stop crying. You know, it's hard for me to imagine you and 
her character, Moritz. What happened? When Simon's father abandoned us, he was the only one picking my calls when I mentioned that I had a child and needed a place to stay. He took us in. But then, after that, he became so brash, screaming, barking orders. And, and then he started beating me. Simon was only three years old. I couldn't leave him all by himself. So he was providing everything we needed until I was able to support. How long did you stay with him? Almost three years. I wanted to leave. But he didn't let me go. He refused. Why? He said that he liked me very much. And that he hated the fact that he was raising another man's son. One day he overheard me telling a friend that I wanted to escape. He almost killed me. After he started insisting that I get pregnant for him. After all he's done for us. What? I don't even want to remember the things I refused. When I got the chance, I just ran away out of his house. And what about Simon's father? He left when Simon was two years old. And when I finally reached him, he said he was going through a crisis and that he would return and come for us and compensate me for everything I have done. Sometimes I wonder if I'll still be alive when he comes for us. You might have mistakenly gotten pregnant with him, but... It wasn't a mistake. You got pregnant on purpose? Yes. I was so much in love with Albert. I thought we'd end up together. He assured me that. So, we planned to have a baby. And then I got pregnant two weeks after. Seven months into the pregnancy, the helpers started regretting it. Then he disappeared and came back when Simon was three months old. And from time to time, he would just call but he never really stayed with us. And you haven't seen him to date? <laughs> yeah. You know, I wish I knew what I know now. I wouldn't have gotten pregnant. I 
thought after nine months I could go back to doing what I wanted to do with the man of my dreams and my baby boy. But things happen. I am sorry. <gasps> Truly sorry. The last six years of my life has been the worst ever. Until you came along and helped me out. Thank you. You're welcome. But Donna, I need you to know that that phase of your life is over. This is a new era for you. So you continue to make your big plan. Your boy's growing up, it's a good thing. And I'll do everything I can to support you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Just cheer up, stop crying. And as for Morris, trust me. You don't have to ever worry about him again. Okay? So do you want me to get you anything? I'm okay, I'm fine. Ice cream. Biscuit. Okay. You want biscuit? <laughs> and you look too old for that. All right, I'll, I'll get you some, okay? Bye. Cheer up, okay? but it's clear you misunderstood my intentions. So, there was an intention? Yes, a noble one. Which is? When I planned to come here, all I wanted was to be here for you as a friend. While I pushed for my project, but I tried it and, and you went off on me. Pauline, I'm not stupid. I know the vibes you were given so well. It's how you were coming on to me that really pissed me off. Wait, are you saying I came here to force myself on you? You came here because you think that the death of my wife has given you access to me, right? Jeffrey, that's not true. You and I have been friends since childhood. I knew you before you met your wife. And when she was ill, did you come and see her? She was bedridden for two years. You knew that. Everyone knew that. But did you call her? Did you come and see us? No. When she passed, you reached out. Jeffrey, I'm sorry. My timing was wrong. Your timing felt calculated. How can you even say that to me, Jeffrey? Where have I gone wrong with you? All right, Pauline. What we had was over a long time ago. This is not the first time we've been in close proximity that you think or you've tried to rekindle our relationship, one that is long gone. Jeffrey, you are saying that to me. Oh, you know me so well. I don't hide how I feel. Look, what I would like to preserve is our friendship, if we can. Okay? I have my eyes somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, I've noticed. You have your eyes on Donna, don't you? <laughs> I see the way you look at her. You know, I saw the man she was with when he came here. And I wondered what kind of person she truly is. Classless in every way. <sighs> that guy looks like a criminal. And um, the other one, the father of uh, Simon. You have no idea all she has been through. Yeah, right. Well, I hope you know what you are doing. You see, Jeffrey, as your friend, I'll advise you to be careful because you have not heard all the stories. I'm sure she will seduce you into getting her pregnant as well. Well, thank you for your advice. You're welcome. I'll be in my room. Thank you so much. Now that you've gotten your alert, I can rest, right? <laughs> I'm not serious. Listen, I've been working for over two months now. This week is my third month. He's fine. <laughs> sure, sure, I'll tell him. Yeah, he misses you and your kids. We'll come and say hi to you very soon. Trust me. Okay, bye. <sighs> Hey, Harriet. Hi. Hey, Donna. Mm -hmm. What's the size of your shoe? 39. Why? Nothing. <sighs> really? What's your size? 42. Can you believe it? <laughs> and then we can't wear each other's shoes. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. Alright, see you. You're such a handful, you know. You are? <laughs> well, you're a good boy, though. Hey, listen. All right. Why don't you go inside? You go and change. And when you come outside, I finish telling you the story. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Um, you sure you can you manage this or you can? <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Hi. Jeffrey, welcome. <clears throat> Thank you. How did the meeting go? It went well. Uh, it went well. I'll just go upstairs and take a nap or something. <clears throat> okay. You know, I should have paid attention to you when you got here. Excuse me? <sighs> you went from Ma and Sa to being the one who cooks his food, having him run your errands for you, picking your son from school, going shopping. <laughs> I didn't see all that coming. Please. 
I have avoided you for months now. You insult me and my son at any given opportunity. Yes, he's nice to me, but I will never manipulate a relationship with him. Hmm. I see. <laughs> well, I hope you don't get to complicate your life and that of your son any further. Miss Donna, how many men do you have to get through with in front of him? Huh? Anyway, I wish you well. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> hi, hi, Jeffrey. Hello, ladies. Um, dinner is almost um, ready, so I'll, I'll leave you guys to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. So we're starting their campaign next week. Mm. After that, we'll launch the two online stores that we have built. So what's the timeline for the campaign? Four weeks. That's good. Well done, Donna. Thank you, sir. You're getting a lot done. Thank you. What else do you have on your agenda? Uh, Marina, Capital, and Burge. And when will you sort that out? They're all done, sir. OK. Well done. Superwoman Donna. I'm Donna. Aha. I need you to drop everything you're doing and have a look at this. You're going to make a presentation to them this evening. What? I've never done that before. It's simple, really. Just show them how we're going to rebrand their online presence and give them massive visibility. It's something that you've done at the office before. Show them the work that you've done and the one that we've launched. And what kind of company am I going to? You're not going to their office. It's an evening setting, so relax. They're having a get together. But I can't go looking like this. I know. That's why I sent out for a dress for you. Listen, this is really important for us. We need this client. So you need to look really pretty. The driver is going to take you there. Okay, but my son, I need to pick him up from school. Relax. I will get your son. Just call the school and give me authorization, okay? Good luck. You can do it. Donna? What are you doing here? Ah. I came to meet you. You're the client? Yes, I'm the client. Actually, Harriet arranged all this. It's my birthday today. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, my wife, my late wife, used to arrange something special for me, even though I didn't want it. She would arrange it anyway. And Harriet knew about it. So she wanted to do something special for me and I said no but she said what if I arrange a dinner date with you and Donna what would you say and I said yes happy birthday thank you very much <laughs> Harris is an amazing person you have no idea 
I wonder what more I can do for her though. Take care of her sons. Pay their school fees. That will mean the world to her. Okay, done. <laughs> you know, I like to see you smile. <laughs> Even though your head has been buried in the world this past few weeks. There's just so much work to do. I know. I also heard what Pauline said to you. It's okay. No, it's not. You deserve far more than life has tossed at you. And in all that you've thrived and survived. And I admire that. You're so smart and hardworking. And soon, people will see what greatness will become of you. Thank you. And you've got a good heart too. I mean, what you've been through, one would think that you've become a bitter and resentful person, but you're not. And your son, such a bright, handsome little champ. <laughs> Thank you. You know, why don't you always look at me the way a woman looks at a man? Why are you looking at me now? I mean, I stare at you all the time. Even Harriet has noticed. I do stare at you all the time. Mm. It's just that you never notice. Like now. Mm. I even have a picture of you and Simon that I took the other day. You do? Yes. Okay. That's a good picture. <laughs> I'm always staring at it. And I have another one on my laptop. Why? Sometimes I just want your eyes to meet with my eyes. And I want to be sure that you really do like me. I want to be with me. I want to be with you. And I want to be a part of your son's life as well. Well, we're a package deal. And I like that package deal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're an incredible mom and such a sweet, sweet person. Huh? You know, I never thought I would feel like this for any other woman after the passing of my wife. Me too. Albert and Morris hurt me to my soul. I never thought I'd fall in love again. Until you came along. You're so peaceful, so refreshing, so nice. Well, I tried to be. <laughs> Listen, tomorrow is Saturday. I would like for us to go on a proper date. I will call up Harriet. She will come and take Simon for a play date with her boys. And then we can go out on a proper date. A meal, maybe a movie. What do you say? That would be nice. I like it. So it's a date. <laughs> Fantastic a date it is. So what do you want to eat or drink? Jeffrey does not even notice me. It's like I don't even exist. All he sees is this girl. From day one, he shut down everything I was doing to get close to him. I even tried to rattle the girl. It's just like pouring water on stone. No matter how much I want Jeffrey, he does not want me. I've lost everything. I was alone till you came around and you took my Oh gosh. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
I loved it. I loved it. Yes. I loved it. Best night ever. Come here. <laughs> Not here. Not here? No. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I like that. Maybe. Maybe. I guarantee you will have the best night of your life. <laughs> really? Tell me about. Okay. First and foremost. See you. That must be Simon. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Albert. I came to see Donna. How have you been? How did you find me? Donna, I've been looking for you everywhere. Your number hasn't been connecting. I saw the company you promoted on your social media, so I drove down there and I saw you entering your car while I was pulling in, so I, I followed you. That was how I got to know this place. I wasn't sure if you lived alone or live with family. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to badge in. I'm really sorry. And besides, I didn't know you were married now. She's not married. We're friends. Where have you been? I've been around. Were you in jail? Oh no, no, not at all. So you were a free man in this country? <sighs> Honestly, I, I am so sorry. Donna, I made a lot of promises to you and I have to work so hard to meet up with all of that. After all the years. I, I mean, I bought you a house. I bought you a car. Yes, for you, for, for Simon. Thank you for taking care of Simon. But honestly, I am ready to foot all the bees. All the things you wanted to study, I'm going to foot the bees right now. Please, I can show you the house right now. It's all yours. Want me a car? Yes. And you want me a house? <laughs> yeah. How? For you, for Simon. Uh, yeah. Wow. So because of that, I'm supposed to just jump into your arms. Do you have? Any idea what you have put me through? I am so sorry. I mean, give me the opportunity to make it all up to you, please. Donna, please. I don't have anything against you. But the truth is, I cannot be in a relationship with you. And that's my decision. Donna, you, you, you heard the lady. She's made up her mind, and that is final. Now, with regards to your son, I'm sure she will get back to you on that, pending how she wants you to be involved in his life. So if you leave a contact number, we'll get in touch. But for now, I think we're done here. You may leave. Don't... <laughs> 
You said enough. It's time for you to go. Okay. Okay. Donna. Did you hear what I said? I like it here. So crazy. 